Hello, Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly. Uh, in this lesson, we look at some math, science, engineering, STEM, STEAM related simulations um, and a fantastic website uh, that is, uh, has been created by the University of Colorado uh, in Boulder and just a magnificent resource for the iPad because all of the learning simulations um, and the activities on it have been designed in HTML5 and created in HTML5. So therefore, it's able to work on an iPad seamlessly and, um, and a really fantastic way of looking at science concepts and consolidating through not just play, but looking at um, adjusting different parameters and, and different things that you can do in, within a science kind of um, atmosphere. So you can see there, there's, there's a lots of different um, ideas from physics uh, through to biology and mathematics and so forth. You can register as a teacher and get some extra lesson plans and so forth. Um, or we can dive straight into some of the simulations. Let's take a look at one of them. I'll just get out of there and go into this one. This is a little uh, simulation on force. Um, and as you can see there, it, it fills up my iPad beautifully. It's kind of um, not like some other resources on iPads where it's got a bit here and a bit there because it's HTML5. Um, it works incredibly well. So let's put some things on our skateboard here. So I'm going to put a fridge. And simply I can apply the different force and you can see how much force I need to apply to actually get it moving, to get it to actually keep going and so forth. And the really good thing is if I flip to the other side, you can see how much force is required to actually stop that momentum from happening. And then how much it takes to actually get it going and so forth. So you can actually start to look at the force applied to different contexts whilst at the same time being able to put different people on it and some different things there as well, which is fantastic. And we can kind of restart the page and so forth. So we can look at force, we can look at speed, we can look at masses and values and so forth. Uh, we can do things like looking at, for example, friction. Uh, we can look at how um, friction is applied and, and what impact it has on things moving and so forth. So we've got some, um, some wonderful uh, simulations, both science, mathematics, that sort of area that have been created in HTML5 um, that we can use with the iPad incredibly effectively and you can start to build some, um, I guess, content around it. You can start to plan some lessons around these wonderful resources. And it's something that a lot of people don't know about that these wonderful interactive simulations exist. And so please check out the fet.colorado.edu site. Um, fantastic way of getting... Uh, th there are some elementary lessons there looking at elementary concepts and primary school concepts but I would say most of them are kind of looking at the secondary high school area. So this is just another wonderful resource that we can use that is not app-based. It's really just a website and a free website. And so just because we don't have apps or we might have problems actually through our school system in, in purchasing apps, there's still an amazing amount, a plethora of resources out there that we can use that are web-based. Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly, signing off.